All right, so Francis Nagano, he's coming into this next fight. He's coming into this next fight hot, man. I mean, he doesn't have a contract. Um, watching videos online, there's speculation or an intent there that the dude wants to go box. Either go box Tyson Fury. I've heard names like Deontay Wilder. I don't know why that would make sense. I mean, I understand the power, kind of the power striking between the two, but I, I would think that if he was going to take off to fight anybody, it would be Tyson, right? Um, I'm likely going to bet on this fight, and I'll tell you the way I'm going to bet it. What I like to do when I look at a fight to break it down to bet it, sometimes what I like to do is say, hey, what's best for business here, right? And I'm going to tell you what I think the best for business is. There's a want, evidently, for Francis to leave. He wants to leave. He wants to go box somebody or go do some mega super fight for millions of dollars right the ufc just released kevin lee which is a uh i believe his name is mark markwell martin i think that's francis naganu's manager that was also kevin lee's manager and from what i understand other than francis kevin was the only guy i think that markwell had in the ufc that was managing managing him they just cut kevin lee he had multiple fights left on his deal they just said we don't want you no more totally unexpected i believe see back a few months ago this this marquell martin character and dana white had a spat on social media okay they went back and forth I think Dana said something like he's full of shit or something like that. And Marquell Martin said some stuff back to him. And this is all surrounding uh, Francis Ngannou's, um Basically, he turned down defending the heavyweight title at a pay-per-view back in June, I believe. And this, this infuriated the UFC and Dana White. It pissed them off to no ends. <laughs> and then this spat back and forth between this this manager this martin character with dana i really think that dana white wants to rid this dude of the ufc not do negotiations with him anymore period and get all of his athletes out of there even francis nagano even francis nagano because that's what it looks like i mean if you look if you look at it it, it looks like they're setting up for Francis to leave and then they don't have to negotiate with this with this manager anymore there's he don't have any more fighters in the UFC right so what's best for business here I think what's best for business and what the UFC wants is for Cyril Gaon to beat Francis Ngannou in this fight and I think what they've done is I think they've given him There's, this is not an easy title defense or a title defense where, where Nagano is expected to win, right? You would think that if they wanted to keep him around as a champion, at least for a couple of defenses and make some money off some highlight knockouts and this type of stuff, they would give him a little bit of a lesser opponent the first time out. But they're giving him the toughest deal possible. And what that tells me is they want him gone. They want him to lose this fight, lose the belt, surrender the belt to Gon, and go on and do your boxing or whatever it is that you want to do, right? So for me, I think I'm going to take Gon in this fight. And also because I think he's a better fighter. All around, I think he's a better fighter. But listen, there's a lot of human involvement in fighting. In, in the UFC, it, it doesn't matter what league. 
there's a lot of human involvement in this that if you don't pay attention to it you're gambling on it and you don't pay attention pay attention to it you can get smoked look at the amanda nunez fight that just happened you know how many people bet on her just to get a small return betting on her is still a better return than the stock market it's still a better return than a lot of investments that are out there even if she's negative uh, you know even if she's negative a thousand you know it's still a 10 percent return right which is good isn't it's not bad you know it's not great but it's not bad as far as investing is concerned um and there's a lot of people that stuck money on her expecting to get a small little return out of it that didn't get it because they didn't pay attention to the signals they didn't pay attention to the human involvement and all the human involvement around this fight this francis nagano Cyril gone fight says it all screams francis is leaving and nagano is the new champ that's what it's all screaming and I think I'm going to bet on it I think I'm going to take Cyril Gaon I think I'm going to take him and he is you know I've never seen a I've never seen a heavyweight move like that I've never seen a heavyweight move like that and fight like that he's he's very versatile he's almost he moves like a he moves like a middleweight man not like, not like a light heavyweight he moves like a middleweight fighter the way he gets in and gets out, I don't think Francis can contend with that, man. You know? You had Derek Lewis that that's a knockout, knockout artist, and I understand that they're not the same. I understand that Derek Lewis and, and Francis Nagano are two different people. But the knockout threat didn't even didn't even affect Gon. He just went in there and did what he was supposed to do and, and he finished Lewis. And looking looking at looking at Nagano's previous fights, he gasses sometimes. Now he did okay with Miochis, but again that fight didn't go past the second round, right? Nagano is gonna be there. Three, four, five. The question is will Francis be? If they do fight, if they do have a real life scrap where all the dice is off the table, there's no human involvement, there's no nothing. I think I think Francis drops his strap and leaves. I think he's got a shot at making more money. If he didn't, he would have re-signed his contract. The whole thing is the dude didn't the dude did not sign a lucrative contract that was brought to him. Hey, you're you're the UFC heavyweight champion. We want to keep you. Here's a contract. Lucrative deal. And he's like, no. It's the way I understand it. Either that or they brought it to him before he became the champion. I don't know. Either which way, I think he wants to leave the UFC. At least for a little while. To go box and, and do this other stuff. I'm hearing rumors about him and, and bare knuckle boxing or not the organization doing some type of bare knuckle fight a promotion uh, either that or boxing in, in in four ounce MMA gloves I'm, I'm hearing I'm hearing rumors like this that are going around whether or not this is true or not I don't know who knows if that'll ever come to fruition the other wild card here is Dana White is is saying hey if you don't want to be here go ahead and leave right he's saying this to Nagano now, I doubt he lets him out of this fight. They want that cake. They want that money that's coming off this fight. But after that, he's saying, hey, go ahead and leave. So there's another wild card here where it could be a deal where one of these guys pulls out by January. You know, and then what does that look like? Who steps in? But as it sits right now, Francis Nagano versus Cyril Gaon. Cyril Gaon, you got to pay 115 in juice to get 100. 
And Francis, you've got to pay 105 in juice to get 100. Both good lines, man. You know? It's just telling you that Vegas has a slight edge on gone. And I think it's because of that human involvement. I really do. I think it's that human involvement. They're like, ah, does Francis really even want to be here? Right? That's the question. Does he even want to be here? We're going to find out. My choice as of right now, if I had to bet it tonight, I would throw everything. I would throw, I would throw my units on gone. That's who I put it on. Straight up to win. You could also bet this fight to not go the distance. It's likely. It's likely not to see the board. I don't I don't see how it does see the board, to be honest with you. One of them should finish the other. There's a huge knockout threat. Nagano showed. Everybody's saying that Nagano showed improved ground skills in his fight with Miyoshi. He showed that he could defend a takedown and he showed that he could sprawl and spin. We'll see if that really translates to if a heavyweight actually does get him down and get on top of him. We'll see. We'll see how much improved he really is. We'll see. I got gone. He got gone. 